Hey everybody, it's time for an update on the vampire drain or the battery consumption while the vehicle is parked over here on this Rivian. I was able to talk to someone at Rivian and they gave me an interesting suggestion. So to test this out, clearly the first thing I need to do is charge the Rivian all the way up, which I have just done. Let's go ahead and unplug it. Then we'll go ahead and unlock it. I am using the key rather than my Bluetooth device. We will hop inside and take a quick peek here so you can see the battery is at 100 percent this last charging summary was just uh, to give it an extra 4.5 kilowatt hours i like the latest software updates that give you a little bit more information about the charging session you can see that in this charging session low voltage accessories used relatively little now interesting twist i have noticed that depending on what's going on what modes the vehicle has been in whether you're using the smartphone or the actual physical key to interact with the vehicle, etc., this low voltage accessory number, that really could use quite a bit of power. At any rate, here's the mode that Rivian told us to engage. So if I can find it again here, we go into, I believe it was settings, vehicle, service, and then down here, vehicle shipping. So if you're going to leave your vehicle for a long period of time, Rivian was saying go with this vehicle shipping option. It's going to consume a lot less battery. Clearly that means we have to test this out. That means that the first thing I need to do is move the Rivian because it's blocking my roll-up door, park it right in front of my office, and then abandon it for a weekend. And just in case you're wondering, to be really careful on the energy consumption, I have turned off the climate control so the cabin it is a little bit toasty just in this very quick parking lot maneuver, but as you can see, I'm really not moving the Rivian very far. It's literally just going from one side of the building to the other, and uh, it's gonna get parked next to the other EV that is currently here for testing. That would be that EV6 right over there in that uh, sort of just too dark of a blue color for me. It's now been three days and 20 minutes. Let's find out how much battery power is left. It was a pretty mild weekend this weekend. Maximum temperature here was 72, although today it did get a bit warmer. And if I flip the camera around, let's see what we've got here. Uh, the range does appear to have dropped pretty decently. You can see it's still in the vehicle shipping mode. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off now. Then if I go down here to the energy screen, wow, we still lost 8% battery in three days. <laughs> I must admit I'm pretty disappointed in that because that means that this Rivian used just under 3% of its battery every day just hanging out here doing nothing with the alarm system off and the vehicle in the shipping mode. So theoretically that is the lowest power consumption available for the Rivian R1T. The easy takeaway from this is that if you plan on going away for a vacation that's three weeks or more, you might want to think twice about taking the Rivian with you, and you're definitely going to want to leave it plugged in at home so that way the high voltage battery can keep charged. Otherwise, you're going to come home to a very, very dead vehicle. Be sure to let me know what you think about that down there in the comments section below, and of course, check out the other related videos on the R1T, etc. Again, that... Uh, EV6 right over there in the parking lot. I left it here over the weekend with a completely full battery. It still says it's at 100%. So Rivian certainly has a power consumption problem. This vehicle has the latest software update, which supposedly was supposed to help some of this. And then I talked to the folks at Rivian about this particular problem. They suggested the shipping mode. And as you can see, it doesn't appear to have helped too much. Well, thanks for watching. Everybody check out the other videos and I'll see all of you later.